Satish Dhawan Space Center SDSC or Sriharikota Range Shar, is a rocket launch center operated by Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. It is located in Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. Sriharikota Range was renamed in 2002 after ISRO's former chairman Satish Dhawan. SDSC's current director is S. Pandian. He took over from P. Kunikrishnan on 31 July 2018. History Sriharikota Island was chosen in 1969 for a satellite launching station. The center became operational in 1971 when an RH-125 sounding rocket was launched. The first attempted launch of an orbital satellite, Rohini 1A took place on 10 August 1979, but due to a failure in thrust vectoring of the rocket's second stage, the satellite's orbit decayed on 19 August 1979. Shar was named as Satish Dewan Space Center Shar SDSC on the 5th of September 2002 in memory of Satish Dewan, former chairman of the ISRO. The Shar facility now consists of two launch pads, with the second built in 2005. The second launch pad was used for launches beginning in 2005 and is a universal launch pad, accommodating all of the launch vehicles used by ISRO. The two launch pads will allow multiple launches in a single year, which was not possible earlier. India's lunar orbiter Chandrayaan-1 launched from the center at 6:22 a.m. IST on the 22nd of October 2008. India's first Mars orbiter Mangalyaan was launched from the center on November 5, 2013, which was successfully placed into Mars orbit on 24 September 2014. Shar will be the main base for the Indian Human Spaceflight Program. A new third launch pad will be built specifically to meet the target of launching a manned space mission. Topic. Location Satish Dewan Space Center Shar is located in Sriharikota, a spindle-shaped barrier island on the east coast of Andhra Pradesh. Features like a good launch azimuth corridor for various missions, nearness to the equator, benefiting eastward launches, and large uninhabited area for a safety zone make it an ideal spaceport. Shar covers a total area of about 145 square kilometers, 56 square miles, with a coastal length of 27 kilometers, 17 miles. Prior to its acquisition for ISRO by the Indian government, it was a firewood plantation of eucalyptus and casuarina trees. This island is affected by both south-westerly and north-easterly monsoons, but heavy rains come only in October and November. Thus many clear days are available for outdoor static tests and launchings. Shar is linked to Sulorapeda by a road across Pulikat Lake. Sulorapeda has connectivity with other parts of India by Indian Railways and is on a National Highway 5 India that connects it to Chennai about 83 km 52 miles south and Kolkata. <laughs> <laughs> Launch history Originally known as the Sriharikota Range Shar, and later named after Satish Dewan. It is India's primary orbital launch site to this day. First flight test of Rohini 125, a small sounding rocket which took place on 9 October 1971 was the first ever spaceflight from Shar. Since then technical, logistic and administrative infrastructure have been enhanced. 
Together with the Northerly Balasore Rocket Launching Station, the facilities are operated under the ISRO Range Complex headquartered at Shar. Topic: Satellite Launch Vehicle (SLV). The range became operational when three Rohini 125 sounding rockets were launched on 9 and the 10th of October 1971. Previously, India used Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station TERLS, at Tiruvananthapuram, on the southwestern coast of India, to launch sounding rockets. The first test launch of the complete SLV-3 rocket occurred in August 1979 but it was only partially successful following a malfunction in the second stage guidance system. Shar facilities worked satisfactorily during the SLV-3 preparation and launch. On 18 July 1980 the SLV-3 successfully launched India's third satellite. Out of the four SLV launches from Shar, two were successful. Augmented Satellite Launch Vehicle ASLV. The ASLV orbital launcher was integrated vertically, beginning with motor and subassembly preparations in the Vehicle Integration Building and completed on the pad within the 40 m tall mobile service structure. The first ASLV launch from Shar took place in 1987 and resulted in a failure. Eventually, out the four ASLV launches from 1987 to 94, only one was successful. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle (PSLV). The PSLV launch complex was commissioned during 1990. It has a 3,000 ton, 76.5 meters high mobile service tower (MST), which provides the SP3 payload clean room. The solid propellant motors for the PSLV are processed by Shar, which also carries out launch operations. The first launch of the PSLV took place on the 20th of September 1993. Topic facilities The center has two operational orbital launch pads. SHAR is ISRO's satellite launching base and additionally provides launch facilities for the full range of Rohini sounding rockets. The Vehicle Assembly, Static Test and Evaluation Complex VAST, previously STEX, and the Solid Propellant Space Booster Plant SPROB, are located at Shar for casting and testing solid motors. The site also has a telemetry, tracking, range instrumentation, and control center for range operation RO, liquid propellant storage and servicing facilities LSSF, the management service group and Sriharikota common facilities. The PSLV launch complex was commissioned in 1990. It has a 3,000 ton, 76.5 meters high mobile service tower (MST), which provides the SP3 payload clean room. The solid propellant space booster plant (SPROB) processes large size propellant grains for the satellite launch vehicles. The Vehicle Assembly and Launching Facility VALF, Solid Motor Preparation and Environmental Testing Facility SMP and ETF tests and qualifies different types of solid motor for launch vehicles. The control center at Shar houses computers and data processing, closed circuit television, real-time tracking systems and meteorological observation equipment. It is linked to eight radars located at Sriharikota and the five stations of ISRO's telemetry, tracking and command network ISTRAC. 
The propellant production plant produces composite solid propellant for rocket motors of ISRO using ammonium perchlorate oxidizer, fine aluminium powder fuel, and hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene binder. The solid motors processed here include those for the first stage booster motor of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV, a five-segmented motor of 2.8 m diameter and 22 m length, weighing 160 tons with a thrust level of 450 tons. Rocket motors and their subsystems have to be rigorously tested and evaluated on ground before they are declared flight worthy. The facilities at SDSC Shar are used for testing solid rocket motors, both at ambient conditions and simulated high altitude conditions. Besides these, there are facilities for conducting vibration, shock, constant acceleration, and thermal, humidity tests. SDSC SHAR has infrastructure for launching satellites into low Earth orbit, polar orbit and geostationary transfer orbit. The launch complexes provide support for vehicle assembly, fueling, checkout and launch operations. The center also has facilities for launching sounding rockets for atmospheric studies. The mobile service tower, launch pad, preparation facilities for different launch stages and spacecraft, storage, transfer and servicing facilities for liquid propellants, etc., are the principal parts of the PSLV, GSLV launch complex. For supporting the GSLV MK3 program additional facilities were set up at SDSC. A new plant SPP is set up to process heavier class boosters with 200 tons of solid propellant. The static test complex is being augmented for qualifying the S200 booster. Other new facilities include a solid stage assembly building, satellite preparation and filling facility and hardware storage buildings. The existing liquid propellant and cryogenic propellant storage and filling systems, propellant servicing facilities will also be augmented. The range instrumentation system will be enhanced further. SDSC SHAR also has a S-band Doppler weather radar that contributes to India Meteorological Department radar network and serves as a stand-in for Doppler weather radar in Chennai. Topic. Launch pads Topic. SLV launch pad This launch pad was used by the satellite launch vehicle and augmented satellite launch vehicle is located at the southern tip of the current launch site. It has been decommissioned. Initially it was built for launching SLV-3 but was later augmented to be used as an ASLV launch complex. <laughs> First launch pad FLP. The modern first launch pad was built in the early 1990s for the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. It has also been used by the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle. The first launch pad is undergoing major expansion with PIF PSLV Integration Facilities project worth 475 crores. Once complete, the first launch pad is expected to cater to around 15 launches per year. Topic second launch pad SLP Second launch complex became operational in 2005 and unlike first launch pad operates on philosophy of integrate transfer and launch. SLP is configured as a universal launch pad capable of accommodating PSLV, GSLV and GSLV MK3 launch vehicles of ISRO. 
In addition to the Vehicle Assembly Building VAB, a Solid Stage Assembly Building SSAB was constructed for assembly of S200 strap-ons of GSL VMK3. Augmented SSAB can now assemble first stages of PSLV and GSLV with VAB holding another rocket in parallel. A new second vehicle assembly building Schwab in the same complex is being constructed with a budgetary grant of 630 crores and is expected to be ready in mid-2018. Third launch pad TLP. A third launch pad is planned at a cost of 6 billion rupees and would be capable of supporting crewed missions as well. Topic See also RLVTD Indian Space Research Organization